Hey guys, Blazing Wrath here, and today I'm back with another Resident Evil video. Uh, this will be a quick one as I'm just going to recap really quickly on the stuff that happened at the Capcom Showcase. And Jake is not here with me today as there wasn't really much to analyze, so to speak, especially when I get to the Resident Evil 4 segment. And that's basically going to be the genesis of the video. So with that being said, let's go over the recap. First and foremost, Resident Evil 7, uh, 2, and 3 remakes are now upgradable to the, well, next-gen titles or consoles. So you, you can now uh, free install the updates for Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil 3 Remake, and as well as Resident Evil 7. So those are up to f up for free and check your the Xbox Marketplace or the PSN store. Next I want to talk about is Resident Evil Village DLC. Yes, we finally got an announcement on what they've been working on. So the first thing is they they have uh, it's, uh, the, the Village DLC for the story called Shadows of Rose. Uh, this takes place 16 years post Resident Evil Village and we're going to see what that's about. There's a trailer up. Of course, I'll link all these trailers down in the description. I should have mentioned that in the first place. Uh, as well as some additional content for the mercenaries. We'll be playing as Lady D, uh, Heisenberg, do with the hammer and as well as Chris Redfield as additional playable characters. Also, there will be new stages added to the mercenaries as well. And lastly, third person mode is coming to the game as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's coming to the mercenaries, but I know for sure it's coming to the campaign. So, oh, and they've also mentioned some new animations will be added for playing in third person mode. So that is awesome and all that stuff's coming to Resident Evil Village on October 28th, I believe. And finally, we've come to the Resident Evil 4 Remake section of the video, which, again, there, there's actually not a lot, uh, which is why Jake isn't here today. But uh, they did show a few new shots of Leon, which he does look good, and only some snippets of gameplay, but not exactly combat. So, again, there's, there isn't a lot, and I might as well just play off the new sections and not just to waste your time. So, here it is. If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. Resident Evil 4 is set six years after the events in Raccoon City, depicted in Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. The main character of the game, Leon S. Kennedy, survived the Raccoon City incident and was assigned as an agent directly under the President of the United States. Leon is dispatched to a quiet village in Europe as part of a mission to rescue the kidnapped daughter of the president. You might notice Leon is much more mature and fearless due to his past experiences. The Ganado, the main enemies of this game, wait for him. The experience of being attacked by hordes of crazed Ganado is truly an iconic moment from Resident Evil. In order to truly bring out the concept of terror of people controlled by madness, the Ganado have been completely redesigned. Let's take a closer look at the game itself. The over-the-shoulder camera returns, of course. Leon arrives at a dense and dangerous forest. We want to nail the feeling of loneliness and fear of not knowing what lies ahead, even more so than the original. Of course, there will also be thrilling battles. People that played the recent Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 should find this familiar. Look forward to future announcements, where we'll have more information on the game. And that's it. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick recap. Uh, you can always follow me on Twitch and Twitter. All the links will be on in the description. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you want to stick around. And until next time, peace.